Well, live on Kickstarter right now, and, uh, and yeah. So I'm just I'm I'm gonna flip it then if if she she's not gonna. Hit. Oh! <laughs> nice. It falls, it falls forever. forever. Uh, if you want to learn how to play the game, I strongly suggest going to the Kickstarter page. As, as I said, we're live right now. We got about a week left. Uh, we've unlocked, I think, eight stretch goals already. So lots of extra special content has been unlocked for the game. And if you want to make sure you get all that extra special content, uh, it is only with the Kickstarter Archmage version. So and that is going to be an exclusive Kickstarter thing. So make sure you check that out. Um, but yeah, we're going to, uh, but go ahead and you can read the rules. You can download them off of uh, Board Game Geek. And also there's a uh, couple of how to play videos on there as well. So that can be that. But anyway, I'm going to hit the setup button. We're all going to get six cards. And we're going to see what happens. Can you hear us? Can you okay? I can hear you just fine, sir. And I will remind everybody as you're as you're watching this, if you do, if you want to try this game out yourself, you can feel free to do so by just going over to um, your tabletop simulator and downloading uh, this from the uh, workshop. And you can just download uh, Arcana Rising. Arcana Rising. Mm -hmm. The nice thing is, is that the first couple rounds will probably like you know just put the card you know, like we'll we'll take it a little bit slow you can pick the card you want to play and you can put that down in front of you and then um but what we'll do is uh we'll uh after the, after the first couple like phases uh, you will have a pretty good grip on the game and you can just uh basically do your turn it's it's all simultaneous that's one of the nice things about this game um that you'll be able to uh, everybody just take their turn pick make their choice and and uh there you go. Just like that. Then pay the cost. And I'm spending one potion to... I can't read my cards. They're too small. Uh, hold, hold the alt key uh, when you're looking at the card, and it'll blow it up for you without having to zoom in. Oh, okay. There we go. Huh, what a tabletop simulator noob. You don't get to place two cards, though, sir. You have to you know, oh, place I just one. play the whole hand. Okay. I missed no, that. no, no. It's, it's a card game. So pick one, and now I have to. So if you want that blood card instead of that potions card... Uh, you know, make your choice, but you're only going to pick yeah, one. Push. Okay, you're only going to pick one, and then when I hit next turn, what's going to happen is, is that uh, everybody's going to um, like the, all the cards are going to shift over, and I mean, you, 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 don't, you, don't, you don't have to move them. You don't have to do anything. That's one. The this script is really well done by a guy named Jerry that um, just likes Gray Fox games. He made the script for us, so it's pretty sweet. So. If there is a dash on the cost, that means it doesn't cost anything? It costs you absolutely nothing, young lady. So, yes. Then I'm ready. You're ready. So, we're going to flip, and then we're just going to go to the left. So, now, if you happen to run your engine, you'd get herbs and blood. I always tell people, though, like, I, I strongly suggest you're better off, uh, like, unless you just really want to run your engine. You're almost always better off uh, burning through your... Um, uh, like like making the game, forcing the game to uh, force you to like have to run your engine because you run out of resources. Like you can't afford anything else. It's almost better to do it that way. Basically, play as many resources as possible, and then when you have to run your engine, do it that way. At the very, at least at the very first, because you want to get some cards going on. Later on, you're going to selectively run your engine so you can gain points and what have you. Uh, I don't like that card. Man, I wish I had good alchemy cards and, and I had cubes to feed them because double alchemy is usually a pretty powerful turn. So it says if I have a potions card, I gain a specific thing. My question is, if I cast it with no cards in hand, I get nothing. But I ha So I have to have a potions card in hand. No, I have to have a potions card in your tableau. So you do have a potions card in your tableau. Oh, okay. Now, does this one stay forever because it doesn't say to remove it? Yep, that will be there forever. All right. I think we're all down to three cards, so we'll hit the old... All right, guys, wow. so they can't see mine. They don't, they don't know what's going on in the stream, but I'm going to go for these two so that I can do this one here. 
They totally don't know the super strategy. You can always go AWSD to move your move your move your uh, camera around on your on your tabletop suit. Oh, I definitely am. Okay. Yep. All right. I think I'm out of cubes, so I got to figure out which one I'm going to burn. Which card I think you would want, Mikey? No, don't worry about that. Oh, uh, hate drafting <laughs> is a is a very important um, rude. A very important part of this game. So I'm going to run my engine. And when you run your engine, don't forget you get to do the base, uh, the base card. Uh, a lot of times people will forget that that they will they have that base card and they forget to get you even if it's just a cube, it's still a cube, right? It's just it's another little resource that you can add up. So what I did is I gained one charms and I gained two charms and I gained one herbology. So I got to run my engine and process there. And you and I got your to engine, and so you got okay. I'm a little lost. How do you run the engine again? You take one card, whatever card, it's only when you discard a card. So, like, I, I chose to not place a card in my tableau because I had no cubes left. To, to, to I had spent all of my cubes. There was no way that I could have played a card. So instead of playing this oh, card hey, face up... In that case, one am, I, am I playing my cubes correctly then? Because I wasn't sure if I needed to or not. Well, you're probably not, you're probably not paying for them, if I'm looking at them correctly. Because, like... Okay, so um, what do I need to do then? So you played this one, you played that one first, so you'd have to spend that. You played your potion. No, potions card was free. This one, uh, okay. This, this one was you'd probably have. A, yeah, you probably would not have been able. You would have had to run your engine this round as well. Okay. So pick the card you don't want, like the card that you that you want to hand off, and then and then turn it face down and put it to the left of your player board. Okay. Hit, just hit F to flip it over. There we go. After you take it out. And then put it to the left of your board and hit F. There you go. And I wanted that blood card, dang it. <laughs> that was going to make its way back to me, you jerk. Anyway, so yeah, you turn that face down. And so now you get to run your charms and your herbs. So you're going to put one cube on charms because you get to run the baseboard of charms. And then you'll gain the one cube from the baseboard of herb. And then you get to, oh, this is a good one. Uh, essential growth is great. So you place another cube on there, put a cube on the on the on the card itself, because it grows. And then you're gonna gain okay. one one for every cube that you have. So next time you run this, you'll add another cube to it, and you'll gain two. And next time it'll get worth be worth three, and so forth. It'll okay. it'll grow. It's it'll it grows over time. So make sure you put your now take a cube and put it on the board where right there. There you go. Perfect. Okay. And now you've run your engine. So there you go. Okay. Makes now you've sense. got cubes to play with. All right. So now if you're going to run your engine this time, it'll be charms and potions. Charms and potions. I have to, even though I don't have those cards. Yep. That happens. Uh, that, yeah. It happens quite a bit. It'll just. Wait, you know, unless you have a free card, huh? Yeah. You could have a free card. You might, you might have like a, like an artifact card will allow you to, uh, you know, it'll it'll be that'll work. You know, with it, with not three cards. My question is, how? What do I discard the cards at? Um, I'm sorry. This, always discard. When you if you discard, you discard it to the left. You always discard it to the left. Oh, okay, okay. How do I tell so, the cost? The cost for a card is in the top left of each each card, and like there's oh, okay. there's either there's either the the price like this one's two charms or four generic. You know, and okay. so on and so forth. And if you can try to avoid at all costs, try to avoid spending Taking it off here. alchemy. Don't spend it off oh, alchemy yeah. because alchemy is is obviously going to get you the most. Okay. So I'm going to play that charm screen. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna actually cast. So it looks like I'm casting purple and blue. I'm gonna go from left to right and from bottom to top in this case. So I'm going to get one charm. So I just pull a cube from this bag, right? I'm going to gain another charm for this one here. And I gain two charms if I have a potions card. And I do have a potions card here. So I get a lot of charms. That's nice. And then I go across to potions. So I gain one potion. And I oh, gain two I potions from here. 
And that's my full cast. And I just put them up here so I know how much resources I have for next cards. Three. Okay, cool. Hopefully you guys can hear me pretty well. And by the way, if you guys are signing in to your Twitch, which I know you are, go ahead and make sure you follow us here so we can get up to 50. Once we get to 50, I can make the channel fancy and make it look good. But uh, right now I'm limited based on the fact that I only have 41 or something. So I'll go ahead and do that. Did you finish casting, Josh? I believe so, yeah. Okay. Just waiting for that to, to do the click over, right? The 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 uh, the, like the, the magical number of um, of what you need to, to, be, to be legit. Is that what you're trying to say, 50, Michael? Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay, so last card, and almost always, unless the card's amazing, you're going to be discarding this. So you can run the most recent card in each portion of it. You're almost always going to discard this, put it in your discard, and then go through and just, remember, you run your entire engine, but you only run the most recent card that you played. So in this case, it'll be the top card in each spot. So, you know, go ahead and do that as well. I mean, unless the card is so good, you can't, you can't not use it right yeah and for you watching and then how, show you how it works. and if you can't run the card for some reason well too bad like i can't run my alchemy card because i need three blood to be able to use it but i don't have three blood so that's too bad so sad hope it goes better next time so i can't like oh i can't run that card i'm gonna run the one below it because i can't run it nope sorry you should have planned better uh do better next time so for me i get two charms because i do have a potions card one and two and then I go to the next one, which is down here, which is just one herbology. Uh, this one over here, I get one blood. And this one over here, I get two potions. And then my final one is I can spend one resource to gain one alchemy. Which I think I should do. <laughs> so I'll get rid yeah. of this charm here. Two potions, two here. alchemy. Yes, so I should move those over. Hopefully you guys, you guys all good on the sound. Everybody can hear on uh, Twitch there. Let me know, guys. We can fix it up if I need to. Yeah, spend two potions, get two gold. Cool. I have a lot of resources. What if there's so many resources? What if there's a lot of resources? Do we, like, have twos, uh, three, you know, threes and fives or whatever? Yeah, the, the, the yellow cubes are five. But trust me, like, the only time you'll really be transferring, changing those is when you get them over into alchemy. Because once they get into alchemy, they sit. Otherwise, the, the 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 ones on the other cards, you're going to be constantly moving them, or you're going to be using them to purchase cards. So, you no know, sense to um, uh, break them down just yet. All right. Uh, I'm going to shuffle the next mine, My video is not showing up on Twitch. I'll hide you then. <laughs> Evil Callie's uh, hiding. Watch out for her. If, you're not, if, I can't, if we can't see you, I don't know what to do. All right, now you got six brand new cards. Uh, oh. We're running, we're running uh, blood and alchemy right away at the start, which I'm gonna probably have to do, because some of you might have um, some instant casts that are fun. I don't have any yet. I hope some of you transfer some of those to me. But remember, those are the ones with all the text and they have the spell book in the top left. You pay for them just like anything else, but they'll give you a powerful ability that is a one-time use. So if you have any of those, you may want to uh, use them. I am going to run my blood and alchemy engine because I gotta okay, start making some blue. points. Oh, I'm like spinning my card here. Oh, that's why. That's fancy. Okay, I'm definitely taking this one. So this one here, guys, is gonna cost me four or, four alchemy or four of any kind. Well, that is correct. I guess I'd go for the alchemy. One, two. Four. I'll take all these guys. Let's dump them to crumpet. There we go. I like that. Let's go ahead and hide the uh, Arcana Rising now so you guys can see my hand. Uh, ooh, Callie's got a big decision. I can tell. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Well, here, I'll just look at all your cards, and I'll tell you which one to play. I'm sure I'll give you great, you know, because... Wait a minute, no, no you're, pa you're passing to the right. It doesn't help me at all. Let me, me see what all. you're doing, Callie. Yeah, it te to, to me, it seems like you should um, pick something that Josh wants. That's what I think you should do. <laughs> or just discard it, even if it yes. gives you no ability to cast. I like or that, the too. Engine. Yeah. 
strategically drafting. I, if you want to say like uh, instead of hate draft, strategically draft. Strategically. I That's think right. I'll discard and run my engine then. Excellent. Good all choice. Right. Look at all. Look at all this blood magic you got going on. So run the blood magic. You get the one on the base board there. And then you get to convert any one of any other resource cube to blood, and then you get a victory point for doing it. That's pretty okay. sweet. So she's gonna run red and yellow, guys. She goes left, uh, left to right, bottom to top. I'm gonna zoom okay. in, and peer at you. So, I oh, you're first of all, this one in the middle is an artifact card. So we'll put off that up to the side. Yeah, this is left to the is, side at the end of the game, Callie. That's fine. They, they look, okay. the, the color is way too close. We're changing that when the game is published. But for the tabletop simulator, these look way too close. That 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 same mistake has been done probably a hundred times. Yeah, um, I don't have enough to do the second one, so I'm just going to do this one. The third. So take take the blood. Always take the blood because that's negative points. That's that's a two point swing right there by moving it from negative to a plus one. That's a two point swing. Always a good idea. Oh, you don't want blood. No, blood's a negative points, baby. Ooh, well, I don't have any blood to worry about. Well, I do actually. I lied. So just remember, the card uses the the, the cards are not compulsory. That you can, um, you you don't have to. Uh, uh, what's one of If you don't want to run it, you don't have to. So, all right, we're gonna get. All right, pass him to the right. Goodbye, cards. Oh, I should have taken a different card. Oh, okay. That's pretty similar. Mm. Har. Ah. Murmur, murmur. <sighs> Let's see, what do I want to do now? If you want to run your engine, it'd be Herbology and Charms. Uh, green and... It's not terrible. Not terrible, I suppose, but... I think... Hard to, hard to determine if I want to run stuff or not, or... I can spend blood as a wild resource so that I don't oh, have yeah. it at the end of the game. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to run my engine. Go for I it. I kind of hate drafted there. Okay. Only the top one, right? Uh, no. You, know, you get to run all of charms and all of herbology. The only time awesome. you ever do one okay. card is at the very end. Okay. Uh, I get a victory point. And yeah, you're going to upgrade. And cool. One, two, and three. So I'm going to do something funky. I'm going to cast this instant cast, and this allows me to. Uh, dig into my player to my left's discard pile and choose a card. Hey! Oh. Uh, get out of here. Let's see here. There ain't nothing there for you to look at. Oh, there's plenty in here. Uh, da, 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 da. I think I'm getting much more of a hang for this game now. I will take this card, and the, when you do those, no, you, I, my card. Yes, I'm going to take that card, and I'm going to place it in my tableau, and I don't have to pay for. I I pay for the spell or the instant cast, I but not the, spell. the card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I get to add, a, add another charms card to my list here. All right, I think uh, well, everybody's down to their four. Uh, we'll hit next turn. Let's see what other garbage you gave me here. There's definitely stuff I wanted to had to let go. <sighs> I'm gonna run my engine. I need to run blood. I need some cubes. So I'm gonna run as well. The potions isn't helping me much, but I I didn't. I just I need some cubes so I can start converting said cubes. Mm. 
So when it says discard or gain three victory points, discard this card if there's a cube on it. Otherwise, add a cube. Do I have to do it twice in order to get the victory points? I'm sorry, say that again. It says gain Michael three victory Michael. points, period. Discard this card if there's a cube on it. Otherwise, add a cube. So it's a potions card. Which one is it? So basically, potions card work like you do. You get the you get the bonus of the card first. So in this case, you would gain three victory points. So if you had the card and you ran it, you gain three victory points, and then you'd add a cube to the top of it. Yep. The next time you run it, you gain three victory points again. You'd see that there's a cube on there, and that then goes you'd away. discard. Then okay. you then you'd get rid of it. So basically, it's a two use card. If you decided that was the one you wanted to put in your table. Yes. I have one of those that I haven't touched yet. You fool. Where did it go? Oh, you... Okay. It's upside down. But yeah, I want this. Oh, won't it? Go away, gold. No one likes you. No one likes gold. No one Actually, likes Actually, no, I take gold. that back. I did put a cube on it, and then I spent the cube. Is, you know, gain two potions and two victory points. Discard this card if there's a cube on it. So, otherwise, put a cube on it. So, I put a cube on it. But you can't spend that cube. It is a marker. It is not considered a potion. It is just a marker that you place on it. So, okay. then like, you might oh, want to put a cube back on there. In that case, then I'll take a cube off one of my resources. There you go. Perfect. Oh, so the first time I used it, I got the first ability then. Yeah. Oh, so actually, I did have the resource. I was fine. I didn't give okay. myself the two resources, so actually, it balances. All right. Very cool. good. All right. Uh, here we go. Three three brand new cards. Put the cube on at the mark that's been used. Okay. Cool. All right, what's going to help Josh? Under Blood Arts. You got any red cards? No, that looks like it's garbage for you. How about this one? Bring the engine again. Two victory points for each. What runs there? What's going to run on the engine this time? Uh, that would be Charm. Uh, I'm sorry, that would be... Of course, I'm doing the wrong thing. It's going to be Charms and Alchemy. Okay. See you later. I am going to run my engine. All right, what do we got here, guys? I do have a potions card, so that's two. And I get one more. And then one more. And then we're doing this one over here. I can spend four to get, spend four resources for three gold. And then spend one more resource to gain one alchemy. So gold is just straight up victory points then. Yep. Uh, alchemy is the resource that you put uh, in the gold area. Well, you don't actually add the... Because it can change between... Uh, like. You don't you don't add the points and you don't never add points onto your point marker until unless you have a card that says gain through victory points or gain three victory points something like that. Right. Um, you you won't total up you don't total up any of the points from any of the cubes at any of the spots until the end of the game, much like artifacts. So this one says I spend four resources for three gold. So I'm gonna take three cubes from the bag and put it on the gold area. Right? But but instead of doing that, just take four resources. Throw one away and move those three resources over to the bag, over to the gold part. Yeah, yeah, it's the more efficient way. I was just doing it in, in for the rules sake. And then the next one is it says spend a resource and gain an alchemy. Where do I put the cube for alchemy? Well, what do you mean? You would you would just put it on the board, just like anything else, because you've earned it. If that means. is alchemy, the same thing as gold. Yeah, because that, that is your alchemy. This is that is the alchemy portion of your uh, of your board. It's been where you just game one alchemy because like that is alchemy, that is potion, that is blood, that is herbology, and that is charms. Like the fifth portion is your alchemy. So okay, it's just, so where does gold go then? Well, gold just when you when you're talking about gold, yes. it's the same thing. It's just it's just different terminology for like, and, and I understand that that maybe like screws up the like you know it. Cards are referencing gold, which should which should reference alchemy. They're, they're interchangeable. Okay. It'll be fixed once the game is published. Okay, cool, cool. I just didn't stuff. know they were interchangeable. My no, game window no. just froze. Just come back. No! I can still see your mouse moving. Yeah, but I, I, if I click on anything, I can't do anything. 
It should but you are quick, quick clicking. You're breaking, moving stuff around. There you go. Cool. cool. Thank you, sir. Okay. We're good to go. <laughs> We're doing it live. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Right, well, yeah. I'm not a PC gamer. I'm a console gamer. So Run your I... engine. <laughs> so it'd be charms and alchemy if you ran now. Oh, I still have two cards. I had two cards before. That's everybody has two cards. Yeah, but I have to hit next turn to hand them off. There we go. Okay. Oh, I'm surprised this is still here. Okay, so we're now in the next round then? Yep. Okay. We are on the uh, potions and herbology if you decide. I am going to play this. Yes, please. Artifact card. Hmm. I'm going to run my engine. When we run the engine, do we only look at the cards? Can I also convert these resources I just built in Herbology into gold right now? Ask me that again, Josh, so I can hear you again. Um, when I run my engine, do I only look at the cards? Or can I also do the base ability where I turn three Herbology resources into a gold? Well, no, that is not your base ability. Your base ability is just gain one gain one cube. Oh, I got that. That, that, that three is the, the scoring at the end of the game. Three, three game, or okay. both worth the point. Oh, I thought I had to convert those before the end game to get that. Okay. No, no, no. It'll just be whatever cubes you have on the baseboard at the end. Okay. And I gain a victory point. I'm just running my engine. I got nothing to play. I'm very proud of you. Remember, if you've already got a cube on there, a lot of those situations, you're going to be ditching those cards. Right, right. Yeah. This is the first time I put a cube on it. That's oh, what's on okay. There. Cheater, McCheater. Jim. Sure. This card. I played it last round. All right, One. Two. And I'll get me two victory points there. And then one for this one. All right. Nice. Good chunk of resources there. All right, the last phase, unless the card's amazing, strongly suggest you get rid of it. Um, just uh, remember you only play the most recent card that you played. Okay. And No, I don't want this, actually. <laughs> okay, I owe you two balls. You do that. <laughs> oh, oh, no, I'll do this one. Boop, 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 boop. And I'm good. So you're all staying sane since March? Oh, uh, as much as take. I possibly can. Yep, much as anyone, I think. I'm still working. I'm teaching, but I'm teaching distance, so it's okay. Yep, my kid to go back to distance learning here after Labor Day, so. Oh, I started uh, this week. There you go. Did you see that uh, Notre Dame, after eight days of classes, yeah. they had over 150 <laughs> students with Corona, and now we're and canceling. A, and a professor. Yeah, yeah, go figure. Never yeah, guessed I, that. Who could have foreseen this completely un, uh, completely foreseeable situation? <laughs> no problem, Brett. Thanks for showing up anyway. I appreciate it. This will be our last round, right? Yep. Last round. So, I mean, now you've got to okay. really leverage your time between cards you want to play. I mean, like, I'm going to run my engine because I need the blood cubes. So i got to figure out which card uh, Mikey will want, and i got to get rid of it. Don't be getting rid of my cards, damn it. <sighs> Actually, I'm going to play this charm card. Oh, that is a no brainer. No, I'm not going to play this. I gotta check too. Ooh, yeah, boy. I know what I'm doing. 
How do we tell what um, parts of our tableau we run if we run our engine? Uh, right now, look at look at the look at the main board and see. If you have six cards in your hand. You oh, can the see center part. Okay. The center part has potions and blood, so that'll tell you. Huh? Okay. So this round, if you choose, you can do these two. If you choose next round, you yeah, can do now. these two. Yeah, no. Next two, wouldn't mind. Herbs are next, and then double that. Okay. Like mumbling to yourself, by the way. Yeah, yeah it's a, fine. I'm doing that. Hey, he's working his way through it. Give him a break. I'm just reading the board. I wasn't saying it for anyway. any benefit. It doesn't benefit. matter. Just hurry up. <laughs> I want to play more. I'm going to go slower just to bug you. Yeah, you, yeah, you, <laughs> you would. All right, what are you doing? I played a potions guard. I got to pay seven cubes to do it. I put a... I put a charms out. You good, Josh? Callie? Yeah, I put an artifact out. Yeah, I'm doing that. I got two gold. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what you're doing over here, Callie. I gotta look at you. you gotta see what's <laughs> up. No, you okay, gotta look at me. Eight points. What's this? Put a cube on it. Gain four victory points. Discard the card. Of the cube How you got all these potions? No potion cards. I'm watching you. I did discard it. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right. I think we're good. I think we're good. Cool. Um, yep, I'm ready. All right. All right. I'm going to run my engine. All right. I'm trying to decide if I want to do this or not. Yeah, I'm gonna run my engine too. I want one of those cards really bad though. When you breathe like that, people get a nice, nice uh, sound of air hitting them in the ears. There's a wind coming in, I swear. Thank you. I think my gaming chair is rather nice. It's presented by Ewin Racing. Uh, they sponsored me for when I do live streams, which is very seldom, but still, thank you, Ewin Racing. Plug. <laughs> I've gotten two gaming chairs, actually. Look how fancy these guys are. Very nice. Ah. So what, what makes it a gaming chair? I don't understand. I could do my promo here. <laughs> but it, 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 it lets you do this. Watch. Since I can't see your video, I don't know what you're doing. But if your chair can do this, you've got a gaming chair. It's basically a 180 degrees of, of beautiful relaxation. It leans all the way back. Uh, yeah. It's also got some nice armrests. Can you sponsor? You may sponsor me whenever you'd like. I will be happy to plug whatever product, air conditioning units. <laughs> I, I, it is you, a little warm in here. I did a massage gun once. You're just a you're just a hustler on this. That's aren't right. You? Oh yeah. That's right. I, yeah, I, I like hustling. That's why I do all the things. All right, Mike, you done? I've been done. I'm oh, not. Yeah. Uh, I'm the only. I'm the one holding everybody up. <laughs> yeah. Just relax, everybody. Just I, I was too busy talking. I was I was engrossed by the chair. I couldn't. That's right. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. This chair is very fancy, guys. Sorry. If somebody does do AC and you want to sponsor Mike, Mike could use an AC unit in here. There you go. Look at that. Beautiful. It's a wonderful chair. In the uh, next turn. Uh, We're probably going to lose red and black. Okay. Nice, nice. Well, with that attitude, you probably would. I'm watching you. Oh, I have the most victory points right now. How is that possible? Huh? Oh, oh seven, eight, eight zero, zero, and I have 11. How? I don't know, you push the button from 1 to 11? No, I, yeah, but I'm supposed to because I gain victory points when I do things. Well, then you're at 11. I don't know what to tell you. Lance has more victory points than you'd think. Yeah, because all mine are tied already. up in yeah. cubes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this. It costs me three charm, and I get to cast... Basically, I get to run everything but my charms engine. With two charms up, does that mean we get to run... The end you'd run, you'd run double charms if you, uh, cool. if you ran. Do the engine. But, okay. If, if I, I, like I unfortunately do not have any like victory point charms, so I'm going to run this to get a bunch of blood cubes. Uh, 
and then I'm going to run. Next turn, guys. You guys watch on Twitch. Watch what happens next turn. Okay, yeah, I'm running this twice. Everybody is, if they're gonna... Add three charms and one viewpoint. Cool. Wait, you're gonna run the next one twice? That's what I'm you're doing right now. He's running his charms twice. Oh, do we just switch now? No, no, no. He's, he's just... Because you have four cards in your hand, so look, you have four cards. If you ran your engine, you'd get to run charms twice. And look oh. at all those charms cards you have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's Maybe you want to run charms twice by discarding your card. No, it's one too many. Never enough. Three, four, five, six. Cool. Good. All right. That goes there. All right, let's see. Three victory points. If I have a oh, I should play this differently. One, two, three. Blood and gold. Game potions the last point. one. Yeah. I'll just do it. Let me let me talk to them, Josh, really quick, so that they get an idea of what I'm doing. I'm gonna run this twice, guys. So I'm running this. So they gave me three points from seven to nine, and then I get three more for doing it again. And then this is get three points if I have a charms, if I have a three charms cards, and I do. Now is it three exactly? Or can I have four? I imagine I can have four. I'm sorry, what was that? Two, yeah, this one says gain three victory points if you have three charms cards. Does that mean you have to have exactly three? Or can you oh, no, you, no, no, you're, you're good. Okay. And then two charms if I've got a potion and a charm and a charm. So that's a total of four. I wonder if I can... Can I push four? No, I did something. Oh, it went to my hand. Okay, that works. Uh, and then I get to do it one more time. Okay, I'm done. Perfect. I will hit the old uh, next turn button. Goodbye, my friends. Now, the nice thing is if you play with like a full full table of this, six players, like you never see the cards. They never come back to you. Because like, you know, it, just like if you play oh, yeah. a seven, seven player game of Seven Wonders, like you never have the, the cards never work their way back. I am going to run my... Hmm. I am also doing the same thing. We are peas in a pod. We only have two more rounds, or three rounds to the end of the game, basically. Yeah, you know, the, the, the game runs quick. And then move that over there. Okay. I'm done. All right, me too. What's Probably need to trade some of these in for five, though. Somebody's getting oh. lots of gold over here. Lots of gold. <laughs> what is this? And then Viking, oh, no, that's where all your points are. You have them cubed on the Kelly. build already. Yeah, well, What's when you play this? the game, I, I played the game like a hundred times at least. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. It's one of those things where I'm going to borrow um, a little bit of your okay. points. Oh, yep. uh, my point. You can miss them. Oh, bring them back. All right, hitting. Uh, so now you'd run Herbology and Potions if you ran. Yes, yeah. yeah. <sighs> hmm. There's no reason for me not to run, even though I have like almost no. Uh... I mean, yeah, I guess I want to run as well, even though I don't really want to run. Well, yeah, because you're not going to get to run the card anyway. So most likely if you place yeah. a card. So. Ooh, mine don't look good. <laughs> right, so I get one here. Three potions. And a victory point. Two more. And then... And there goes that. One. All 
right. And then now, most likely, your last big turn to run your engine and hopefully uh, get some uh, get some last ditch points. If you will. Remember, you Every don't have. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, looks like somebody. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Huh? Oh, oh, I got a cube in my pocket. Good. Oh. Go ahead. There you go. That's what we were waiting for. I had a oh, this hiding. is a card that would have been helpful a long time ago, but never mind. I'm gonna run my engine. Uh, so I'm doing Let's see. Here. Three victory points. Have I got a potion. Yeah. So. What? Well, uh, and then uh, remember, it's only the most recent card. Now this is a situation where I am not going to be running my blood. I do not need another seven blood cubes right now, so I won't run that. Uh, Why do you have and, so and... many anyway? Oh, because this this is a blood. Every single time you run it, you add a cube, and then you you gain. It, basically, it grows a lot like that herbology card that he has that grows when he runs it. Yeah. yeah. But but this one, you know, it it like poisons you the more you use it. So I am not going to run it here at the end. Yeah. So I used math, and I figured out what the the way to run that without having to end up with any extra blood cubes. And so. Oh. Uh, once you are done, uh, you give yourself three points. Like, round down for each of your uh, charms, herbology, and potions. You get uh, one point for every three cubes you have there. You can't combine. I, I, I've said that a thousand times, and I, I say that. You can't combine. You can't combine. You can't combine. Actually, if, and also, you can hit You can uh, hit the calculate button, though I don't trust the calculate button. But, I mean, you can if you want to try. But as it says, it says calculate victory points, add artifacts points to counter oh, wait, first. Wait. And it will actually, as long as you have the accurate number of cubes yeah. on the different spots, it'll, it'll, well, let's just see. Let's see what happens if I calculate. What? But first, I get two points for every card or for charm, so I get six points for that. And I'm going to hit calculate and see what happens. So it should be one, and then three, and then four. 22 more points. So I should have 38, I think. Yep. It is. It actually did work. Did it right. It said 38. Okay. So. Woo! We can't I, I think points. I'm miscounting something because I'm at 40. I must be screwing something up. No, 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 man. No, the 40. I mean, you, you, like my cards, I had, I had a strategy that was, um, you know, it's, um, you didn't have, did you cut up your artifact stuff? Your artifact yeah, bonuses yeah, too? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, those are what killed what killed it for you. I mean, uh, I mean, yeah, I have two herbology and only one potion. So I mean, yeah. But still, I, I mean, those add up. Your artifact yeah. card beat you out, Josh. <laughs> yeah, hmm? he needed one, she needed one more artifact to gain oh. the points for the artifact, but you, you tied her, okay. so you were a jerk. Well, my, my um, green card that was letting me build for the herbology tokens, that was getting me a lot of stuff right there. Nothing. Yep. And then this one, yeah. you'll get six okay. points for this one, though, because, uh, Akali, you get two points for each yeah, card Yeah, I already added that one in. Right. Let me just see Thanks. here. I got but after you, but you, you scored 38 as well. You, you tied me, I guess, like, uh... Oh, oh Mike, did you beat me? By one point, apparently. Oh. Oh. Mikey, Mikey, you... Okay. Well, Punk. two... <laughs> Looks like it looks like me and Callie tied for last place, um, and Josh got first loser. So I'm not yeah, really at the <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah, I actually I, like I I didn't think I was gonna score that high, but I had uh, this this little baby here give me four points at the end of the game, which was nice. Yep. Uh, so well, I yeah. did give Callie the, the I did promote her, so if she wants to flip the table in anger. Uh, even though we tied, I, I'll let her flip the table in anger if she wants to. I did steal um, that other thing. I was hoping to actually have that last potion, but then I ran potions, so I burned the card, so it went away anyway, so. Yep. Yeah. Kelly, up in the, the up, up, No, it's up in the top. You Up in the top, you'll see, like, all these things where it says notebook options, modding, flip. If you hit the flip button, it'll flip the table. Oh, it's grayed out. Oh, it is? No, I just promoted you. You should be able to get it. You gonna do it? You gonna flip it? <laughs> let's see if, let's see if I can actually even get her in the... Uh... Get her in here. We'll see. What do you think, Mikey? You play a lot of games. Oh, this is great. I like it. It's very different yeah. um, as far as, like, the beginning of the game. You definitely know you want to build your engine, so you want to spend as much as possible to do so. Yeah. And then at the end of the game, you're. it's like you have to choose kind of the first couple rounds what you want, 
but you might not even want to because you might already have a decent engine. And at the very end, even if you see something you really like, you're like, ah, it's, it's, it's too late. I'm not going to get to trigger that. So I probably have to dump it just so I can get, you know, a certain amount of victory points. I definitely did. Like, there was cards I would have loved to have added in my tableau, but it just wasn't worth it late game. There you go. Well, live on Kickstarter right now. And, uh, and yeah, so I'm just, I'm, I'm going to flip it then if, if she, she's not going to hit Oh! <laughs> nice. It falls, it falls forever. forever. It just it, it tumbles, tumbles, tumbles. But um, if you guys want to, if you guys ever want to play it again, just go into the workshop, a tabletop simulator, and you can download this script and you can play it. Um, you know, and we are constantly like doing little tiny upgrades and things like that. You can definitely come in and and do it whenever. And anybody who's watching this, if you want to try it out yourself, go ahead and tabletop simulator. Um, also, if you go to uh, Gray Fox Games right now, we are actually this weekend, um, this upcoming weekend, we are we are like the Gray Fox, Gray Fox demo weekend, and we'll be demoing both um, uh, Arcana Rising this weekend, and also um, this might interest you guys, uh, Roy Canada's uh, game Last Light. It is a 4x space epic. Um, it's going to be in the upcoming Kickstarter coming up in 2021. You can all the 4x space awesomeness you can possibly want. Um, and you can play it in 90 minutes or less. And it is it, 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 it is like all the races basically descending upon the last star of the universe. As the, as the universe reaches heat death, um, there's the last star in the universe that, that hopefully you can find a place to colonize and you have to grab the planets before anybody else does. And it is, um, it is a knife fight in a toll booth. I mean, it is, uh, it is, it is, it is, it is bloody and it is tough and it is very thematic if that's, if that's your, uh, if that's your game, it's 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 quite good. So yeah, Josh likes extremely aggressive games. I've noticed that. I do. do you know I think what? everybody should back this game because it's awesome. That's my quick thought. I'm literally <laughs> looking it up right now to back it. So yeah. You can already back it now, huh? <laughs> there you go. Uh, can arise. There you yeah, go. It's, it's in the link in the description. No, and uh, yeah, so I think it's I think the Archmage pledge for the exclusive Kickstarter content, all the all the bells and whistles, is 34 bucks, um, and that'll get you a copy of the game. So. I want upgrades. I'll be, I'll be buying upgrades too. The puzzle aspect to the game kind of, you have to decide when you're going to play, when you're going to run your engine and kind of look oh. ahead a few turns for that, which to me is really fun to try to figure out what the best move for you might be. Yeah, I mean, it's a, you, you hit it right on the head, Callie. It's like the, this this game requires forethought. You have to look ahead and see, oh, okay, third round is the potions. I, I need to, I'm going to have to run that. Prep day. that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, how, how am I going to get have a card there, yeah. yeah. I wish I'd looked exactly. at other, everybody else's tableau a little more, too, because that would have changed how I drafted at different times for what I chose to then run my engine rather than choosing the card that you know I thought people might like based on what they were talking about, but I could have been a little more specific. It's quick. Yeah, this... I, I learned the rules in, like, 10 minutes and explain them afterwards. So, I mean, that just goes to show that it's really it was really easy to understand and, like, I was like, oh, I understand the game, and it's more than just a draft because it also includes the act of triggering the cards in your tableau as opposed to drafting, whereas most draft games I've played with, like Dungeon Draft, you play the cards down, and after you play them, everybody just interacts with everything they have. Uh, this one actually gives you more choice, but it's still just as simple as a lot of those games as well to understand, while being widely complicated in what your strategy should be. I noticed, like, you were, like, hurting yourself to gain more and more points right lance that was yeah. your, your thing like, well, yeah i just getting i had to figure out a way to get blood so i could convert the blood over that was like honestly I mean, the more you're talking about blood, blood, blood the more i chose those cards to use as my engine sorry, sorry. Nah. <laughs> oh, what is the name of the game about the uh dying star they asked in the comments last light last so, light okay but i'm gonna have to go i apologize because i had to go do my podcast but thank you oh, so much dude. both of you for well, thank uh, you for no no problem out. Hi, Lance. It's good to hang out with you. It was great to hang out with you. Talk to you soon. See you later. Cheers. Cheers.